Yo, 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 what's up, Flippinator? What's up, man? It's good. Where you been at? Where you been at? Man, I get around, bro. <laughs> get around? All right, Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, uh, I've been here. I just been working, man. I got a new job. I work nights, so. Flip Pac. <laughs> yeah, bro. So when's Colorado, man? No date yet? Nah, bro. I'm still working that out, bro. That's 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 becoming a a a, a pain in my butt right now, bro. To be honest with you. Yeah. Um, All good. But uh, I'm getting it. I'm gonna get it together. Even hey, if man. I see later on, I'm gonna get it together. Hey man. All good, man. Hey, them Cowboys beat up on them sorry Giants, and now all of a sudden, uh, they going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> Cowboys. It's always the Cowboys, man. They're pretty good. Nah, they, they, they're, they're, uh, they're like, um, they're like, uh, how, how can I put it? Uh, they're like a good regular season team. But that's about it, bro. Like when it comes down to playoffs and and like, you know, time to shine type stuff. Man, they're not that good. That oh, that, I know what to compare it to. They're like the Milwaukee Bucks, bro. The Milwaukee Bucks are dominant all season long, bro. <laughs> Until it comes to the to playoffs. When it gets to the playoffs, bro. Yeah. Like Miami had no business beating them last year. Miami was not a good team. Like they were, a, a, you know, compared to the Bucks, they they oh, yeah. had no business, bro. But yeah, they got a dog in them. They got that dog in them. You know what I'm saying? Like they got that dog. Whereas the Bucks don't got that dog. And that's the same thing with them Cowboys, bro. They real good regular season, bro. But you put them in that pressure where, you know, your palm yeah. and your hands get sweaty and your butt cheeks get tight. And then they, that's, where they, <laughs> that's where they fail right there. And that kind of remind me of the Chargers. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, nah. Mm -mm. Yeah, man. Man, I got so much work to do today, but I'm going to get off work. I'm going to try to work right now. I'm on my computer now trying to get this work done because I'm trying to go to the range today. I ain't gone to the range in a little minute. Hey, so I'm thinking about uh, enlisting, man. I'm going to see if I can get in. Enlisting to what? Military, bro. Bro, they ain't bro you would have to get like a super waiver. You went to, you got You got a felony charge, bro. Oh, yeah. I mean, I saw on YouTube where there's like a few dudes that uh, got waivers, man, and they got two felonies. So well, Trump, Trump might be able to help you out. He, I'm sure he got some hookups, bro. Um, how old are you? I'm 37, man. Nah, bro. You, <laughs> nah, bro. Your time passed, big dog. They, they ain't no waivers for that. No, no, no. For, for Air Force, it's 42 is the cutoff. Bro, yeah. I don't know. That, that'll be that. Hey, listen, man. Uh, if hey, more power to you, bro. I wish you the best, but I think that's gonna be very hard to do. To be honest hey, with you, with God, all things are possible. Oh Lord, <laughs> you about to get Trot started on you, bro? Where is Trot at? I need him to come back right now. You hear me? Trot, come back right now so you can hear this. Yeah, I think he's making his coffee there. He's making coffee. They always be making coffee. Yes, sir. I don't know what makes what takes him so long to make coffee. All he do, is, all he does, is throw grinds in hot water and drinks it. Dang, like that, huh? And chew it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Turkish coffee. You ever had Turkish coffee, bro? Oh, bro, Turkish coffee's bomb. What? That joke is yeah. so nasty, bro. Oh my god. Oh, no, I like Turkish it. coffee. Is so good. Nah, bro. They be having the grinds in it. They don't even filter it, bro. You gotta sip off the top. Otherwise, the, you'll yeah. take a gulp of grinds, bro. Nah, what kind of Turkish coffee is that? I had Turkish coffee in Turkey, bro. <laughs> hey, I had, a, I had. I used to work at a. Uh, you had Turkish place. coffee at a, at a at a Filipino restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> No nah, man, I I had this uh coworker. He was from Jordan, right? 
So what he did, I mean, we were working, uh, uh, working with heavy equipment. So he, he put this coffee in this little metal cup and he took a torch. If you know what a torch is, it, it cuts metal. So he took a torch and lit that coffee up, like all the coffee grinds. And he melted that coffee grind, dude. Gave me a shot, bro. Hey, I almost had a heart attack. That thing was strong, man. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Hulk said he's drinking honey with his car. I didn't like that. I, to be honest with you, I didn't like that taste at all, Hulk. Not at all. Not even a little bit. I'm good. I drink my coffee black. Straight black. Yeah, I yeah that's, that's, that's usually what I do, too. Yep. The black I heard black coffee. The juice. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on, uh, try, hold on, try. <laughs> I got something for you. I got something for you. So, Flip is trying to join the military, right? Flip yeah. is a he's a 37 year old brother with felony charges, and he wants to join the Air Force. I said, brother, that's gonna be kind of hard. 37 and felony charges. That's like a super waiver, right? And he said, if God wills it, and all things are possible with God. I said, oh, Lord, you about to get trot started. <laughs> Man, <laughs> if all things are possible with God, well, then that means God makes counterfeit money. He's just up in heaven just making money <laughs> because all things are possible. That's how that's how ridiculous those things are. People are like, oh, well, hey, I, I am healthy. I can work, but I pray to God just put money in my bank account. OK, well, he's just going to be up there counterfeiting money. Look, money is a tool. And uh, people don't use their heart to give you their money. Guess what? God ain't up there just printing money and just putting money in your bank account. That ain't how it works. I told, I told, I told to, Flip, I said, listen, more to power to you, brother. To do it. I said, more power to you, brother. But yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, to get a waiver for 37 and a felony charge? I mean, I can see 21 in a felony charge, but 37 in a felony charge? Bro, they won't even let me back in the military at my age. <laughs> it's been years. Yeah. Uh, have a flip. Have you called uh, recruiting offices or anything? No, not yet. Because uh, it was Veterans Day over the weekend. So. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna call around today. Yeah. What you need to do is you need to call. You need to find out who's having a hard time getting people in. You need to find out what station yeah. is doing the worst. And uh, they still have to make a quota, bro. And you're about yeah, to have a 19-year-old uh, corporal telling you what to do. <laughs> hey, but That's I can go right. in as an officer because I got college credits. Flip. Right? Flip. Yo. Flip. Yo. Who, who in the world, bro? See, this is the problem right here, bro. This is the problem right here. You live over there in, 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 in that part of the world where people just lie about how easy it is to get in the military. Well, who in the world told you that it's just that easy? Because if you got college credits, you can be an officer. Bro, it's but way too I, more. I've been I know you keep listening. Listen, you sound like, bro, you sound like Job, Lord, I knew you by the hearing of the ear. Lord, I knew of you by the hearing of the ear. Look, rumors, bro. rumors are not true, bro. They're just rumors. They're not true. So it is true that if you have a certain amount of college that you can be an officer, that is true, but you still have to make a certain score on the ASVAB test. And there's other things that play a factor into that. So it's not, you basically almost have to ace the ASVAB test. And, uh, you got to be a certain not, age, you know, too, now, bro. You, you can't, you can't be yeah, an officer. Yeah, and you got to be a certain age because you got to go. You, you got to be fully commissioned yeah, by 37, bro. So the, so the only way that you could become an officer would be something like joining the Army, and then they have a, a program called Green to Gold, and you go from being enlisted uh -huh. to being a, uh, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm listening. But, What'd you say? No, I, I just said I'm listening. I hear you. No, that's not what you said. You said something no, else. I said, huh? Oh, anyway, yeah. I'm just saying, like, they have a program, and it may be in other services, I'm sure, as well. I'm just saying there's programs called Green to Gold, meaning you go from being enlisted to being an officer. Why? 
all, all your own. Uh, uh, and, and that one helps. It makes things a little bit, a little bit easier too. But, um, you know, I'm telling you, your best odds is to call the, the, the areas. And there might be, matter of fact, bro, the rich area in California, like Irvine or something, I guarantee you, you go to the Irvine Army uh, or, or one of the military uh, recruiting office up there, I guarantee you they don't meet their quotas up there. How do how you know that? Irvine, that, that's like a rich spot. Right. So why would those rich people <laughs> sign up for the military, bro? I swear Flip don't uh, be hearing you, bro. I swear Flip be in his own world. <laughs> yeah. Flip, I really don't think you're listening. <laughs> nah, listen I'm, I'm funny, bro. I'm, I'm all ears, funny, man. bro. Hey, he's got he's got us in one ear pod and he's got Dr. Dre in the other. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> OP <Opie> slice. <laughs> and he's like, what? Oh, he's like, what? What'd you say, bro? I'm sorry, bro. Oh man. No, nah, but I'm nah, gonna but... call you. I'll, I'll check it out. I'll do yeah, both the army and around. air force. Air force. The reason why air force is because their cutoff is 42 years old. So, uh, and who told you that? By the way, I'm curious to hear that one. Uh, the website. I looked at the oh, okay. uh, yeah the Air Force website. They say they're cut off. I would 42. call a recruiting station, bro. I would I'm, let a I'm person looking, tell you that. I'm I'm looking at it right yeah. now, bro. And it says Air Force is 39, Army is 35, Coast Guard is 42, Marines is 28. <laughs> Like, I'm not really sure where you get this from. I know that if you're like prior service, it goes up to like 37. But normally, unless you have yeah. prior service, they normally don't they normally don't don't do that. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see Navy says 41 Coast Guard 42. Yeah. Uh, I'm surprised that even I'm surprised that, that the Army is 35. That's kind of high, to be honest. 35. Well, maybe I'm only two years shy of that, man. So, yeah, but hey, yeah, but, but at heart, minus three years, I'm literally what thirty. You can still make the Air Force though, because the Air Force is thirty nine. So you still, yeah. if they do a waiver for the other stuff, you should be able to get in. But the Air Force normally doesn't have a hard time recruiting, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. Now the, the Coast Guard is pretty cool. You should go to the Coast Guard. I almost, I almost. Uh, I don't, yeah, Guard. I don't know why you're not trying the Coast Guard. Yeah, Coast, Coast Guard's, Guard's got. Cool. Coast Guard's got and, and the problem though with the felony thing, Flip, you gotta understand the problem with the felony thing, right? So yeah. in, the, in in America, right, it's against the law for a felon to carry a weapon. Well, yeah, they, mean, they just can't give you a so weapon. Weird. This was all the way back in two thousand six. Huh? I said it's been two thousand it was uh two thousand six that I got arrested. So that was so many years ago. You know, I've been clean, man. So Yeah, but I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out where you're hearing that there's like a time limit. Like where are you getting this at? Uh, there was like this website that I saw where you gotta fill out, you know, you if you wanna you know, if you're interested in enlisting, you fill out your name, address, phone number and all that and the recruiter will call you. So yeah. No, you gotta hear what Trot's like, saying. Like, where's where's the time limit on the felony charge? Because normally those don't have a quote unquote like statute of limitation. Those are usually attached to you for life. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's for life. Yeah, I know that. So I don't know if they could like expunge it or I don't know, do something. Hey, listen, man, Trot, you got yeah. Trot on your side, bro. He, he's, he's, he's almost the Holy Spirit, so you might as well just pray to him and maybe he can intercede for you to the Father. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro, you, you haven't heard you haven't heard yet, bro? I'm, I'm the Holy Spirit, bro. You haven't heard that? You haven't heard that? That's what... That's blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> these people are crazy, bro. These people are crazy. They come up with anything, like, how dare you? He is not, and they just name, you know, it's like one day it's going to be, he is not the Holy Trinity. There's no way. Uh, like, bro. oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Like, bro, where are you getting this stuff at? People are crazy, man. Yeah. yeah. Bro. Yeah. That's what you need to do. You need to call recruiting stations and just ask them straight up. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that. Benny, Benny was telling me there was a brother uh, on a different note. He said, Holy Trinity. There was a brother that talked about how. 
He said that if the Trinity is not true and he goes up to heaven and God is one and not a Trinity, not three persons, that he's going to tell God he's a liar and that he can go ahead and send him to hell because he does not want to be there. Can you believe that? Okay, hold on a second. Hold on. That if he's <laughs> not a Trinity, hold on, that he's going to tell God that God is a liar? Yeah, and that he needs to go ahead and give him a rubber ducky and send him to the lake of fire because he doesn't want to be there because God lied to him. Okay, so he's saying, okay, so what he's saying is that out of scripture, he got the fact that, yeah, okay, well, yeah, that sounds like an atheist because there's atheist people that if you tell them, you know, like, if you tell them, uh, it's like, hey, bro. No, 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 no. I said, I said he sounds like an atheist. Like oh. there, because I'm saying there are, there are atheist people that if you tell them, Hey, check it out, check it out. Uh, if all this was true, like if you, if you, if you lear- literally learned that, cr- that, you know, Jesus, you know, resurrection, all this, if this was all real and not, not, it's no longer you heard it. No, you actually figured it out that it's real. Would you become a Christian? And they say, Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah that dude said oh hell no i said oh hell no so you just figured out it was all real bro and you would still reject it no I, how does that make any sense bro? oh yeah i had a muslim tell me that bro i was preaching i was preaching the gospel to her and i told her i was like listen hypothetically speaking like are you looking to please god like are you looking to find god for real or are you just trying to be Islamic? Like, which one is it? Because if you really want to find God, then you would have to open up your 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 mind to this thing that maybe the Christian God is true. And I can show you evidence. And she said, even if the Christian God is the one true Allah, I'd rather go to hell than not be a Muslim. I said, all right, conversation over. Ain't nothing else to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, when it's get, sad, actually. Because... It's very sad. Yeah, happens a lot on Josh's live too, Dre. When we're oh, in yeah, there yeah. preaching the gospel in Josh's live, yeah, it's it's wild. <laughs> Usually, you know, six out of ten are kind of that way. Man, this dude got logic destroyed like eight Muslims at one time, bro. It was crazy. <laughs> he was he was going in on them, bro. Yeah, it, the whole rest of the panel was Muslims. And yeah, he's so and he's so respectful and calm, bro. Just just showing them, I like know. I'm like, yo, this dude is very calm. I was losing, I was getting frustrated. I had to change the live because I was losing. It. I was like, I cannot do this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he he's something else. Yeah, he, he he's real smart, man. Well, the other day. Uh, yesterday, actually, I'm saying the other day. Yesterday, I was going through some lives, and uh, I saw some familiar faces. So I went ahead and uh, pitched tent. Went ahead and uh, pitched tent. Uh oh, somebody has a echo. Uh, Jennifer, yeah. it. Jennifer, oh, Jennifer, you got, got an echo. echo. Oh, them Cowboys going to the Super Bowl, Bubba. They don't beat up on the sorry Giants. Imagine that. Oh, what, that, bro? That was a scrimmage. What are you talking about? Why are you even bringing that up? <laughs> We're going to Super Bowl be- without that game. We talked. That. that was a scrimmage, bro. To be honest with you, before they even started, I thought it was going to be seventy-five ten, but we just send up and, uh, the third string in. But I guarantee you, it would have been seventy-five ten. Trot is not the father. Oh yeah, that's the next one. First, I'm not God. And I'm not the Holy Spirit. I'm not the Father. Oh, 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 I get it. I see what they're doing. They're finally getting to the point where they're like, bro, Trot is not Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Trot's just a man? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I, I thought we are. We should have already been in agreement that he was a man. Why Why we got to go around the Holy Trinity? <laughs> that people are crazy, bro. And then that one dude was like, I heard Trot say that the Holy Spirit was a female. And I'm like, man, there is no way you listen to D scale. There is no this way. Be, this must be how people. Yeah, bro. They're trying to find a reason to throw me over the cliff. <laughs> this how, that must be how people were with Moses. 
They're going to say, try this Anathema Maranatha. <laughs> Um, Anatha Maranatha. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, so I seen uh, uh, some faces on the live. I went ahead and pitched tent, and uh, I was listening in, and <clears throat> it was kind of really loud where I was. So obviously, you know, I can't come up. I was invited a few times. I'm just like, man, I can't. Like, you're not. You're, the whole live is gonna go berserk. You're not gonna be able to hear each other. <clears throat> but I just put my ear pop my uh, earbud in and, uh, you know, just kind of <coughs> listen in and my phone's right there. So I can easily just pick it up and put a message in or something. But they started talking about Jesus writing, <clears throat> you know, when he was, uh, when they brought the woman caught in the act of adultery, they, you know, he, he went over and, you know, lean, lean down and, or whatever, and then scribbled in the, in the, in the, on the ground there, and then they were like, okay, yeah, uh-huh. But what do you think he wrote? And I was like, whoa. I was like, well. And I'm getting ready to top in, and this person was like, oh, well, it doesn't matter what you say he wrote, you know. It's just all speculations. Nobody knows. <laughs> and I'm like, nobody? nobody? I said, so nobody knows. So God doesn't even know. So God don't know? Is Jesus God? So God didn't even know what he was doing. I was like, man, oh, so I put a couple of hints in there. And of course, somebody, you know, was like, hey, Trot said this and that. And they were like, yeah, so, you know, it's just nobody knows, though. You know, it's just speculation. I said, speculation. I put quite speculation. I said, don't worry about D scale. We'll be talking about God's finger next week. Don't worry about it. So this week we're going to be talking about God's finger this week because apparently nobody knows what Jesus was writing when he knelt over. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now I got a question. Uh, does, so that go with, just, does that go with Jeremiah 17, 13? Cause that's what I always connected it with personally. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what the day we go over it this week is the day that we will talk about it. So it might be tomorrow. It might be Wednesday. Not exactly sure. I could talk about it right now, actually, if I really wanted to. But, but we kind of have a formula, and I want to stick to the formula. We got to put we got to put out the uh, <clears throat> the invitations. Got to go out first. Then we'll talk about it. Yeah, I'll, but, I'll make the video today, and we'll post it by this afternoon. I'm sure. Yeah, no rush. You know, if it takes you a couple of days, I'm no big big deal. Uh, it's just funny, you know. I forget, like you know, I just forget like what I have or have not talked about, and then I go on a live and listen, and I'm like, wait a minute, bro, have we ever talked about that on D scale? I don't know. I do not know. I think we did talk about so, uh, what Jesus wrote on the ground, though. I, I'm almost positive we had that conversation, but I don't think well, we went we, I, I might have, yeah, I might have like talked about that, but I, I, I really believe that I have not went over God's finger. I really no, no, we we haven't gone fully over it at all for sure because oh, I know okay. Nathan would have had to have come up, right? Mike said, when are we going to go over speaking in tongues? Oh, Mike, you, listen, Mike, for people like you, there's a YouTube channel. And uh, those are th those will be starting to be posted this week, by the way. So if y'all been wondering when they're going to be posted. Oh, and, and I confirmed it, bro. The last one didn't get recorded. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, that's why we'll have to redo that one. <laughs> <clears throat> Jordan, did you say you were screen recording those on your other? No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't started, bro. Like I have to. I have to figure that out. Like I have to go into YouTube and request uh, to go live, um, and then they have to accept it. So I'm still working on that um, mm. to see how we can do that. And then I have to like, I would have to set up one of my computers, yeah, and let it run and like walk away from it because I don't want to like be. You know, I you know I can't be on it the whole time, but I, I definitely I'm I'm gonna get there, man. I, I need to work on it this week. I finally pulled down my my iMac 
downstairs. So I need to set that back up because I, I <laughs> since I moved to this new house a year and a half ago, I never even like set it up because I just use my iPad and my laptop. So I think it's about time I set it up. I'd say so. Otherwise, send it to me. <laughs> I'll use it. <laughs> I've, I've Anthony worked. said, Anthony, hold on a second. I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to answer this as the same finger we see in the book of Daniel. Ooh. Well, I'll tell you what, old Anthony, my one of my favorite family members. If you show up the day that that video tells you to show up, you will hear all about God's finger. Now, you go ahead and go read it all you want to, but I'm telling you, and I hate to say it, if you ain't hearing it from D scaled, it's just probably not going to be the same. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's 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 uh things that you just have to say when it comes to how how much hard work you put into something. It is what it is. So we will I will send out the video to you whenever we're going to do it. And hopefully you come. Hopefully you come. Well, try. First and foremost, hey. good morning everyone. So, well, you on? know, <laughs> well, <clears throat> you know, um, and this is one of the reasons why people want to always say that you think uh, that we think that you got because of how you conduct your lives. And um, I just find it very amusing. And people, as I put in the comments, they're very simple minded. They're closed minded. People don't want to receive something that goes against what they assume to be correct. So it's it blows my mind because I see you guys in these other lives and I listen to them and I'm like, why are they over here? So I, I don't necessarily mm. get it all the time. But, um, yeah, but yeah, yeah, well, I mean, you know, again, there are certain comments that I say just to just to poke fun at the silly bear, so you know it, you know people that's been on here long enough, I think they understand some of my inside jokes, you know that some of my stuff will be repeated, and a lot of people will say, bro. <laughs> Like, do you know why he said that? They're like, yeah, of course we know why. Because he thinks he's the Holy Spirit or something. <laughs> it's like, bro. Like, why? Is oh, that so I get. Obviously... No, it's funny to me. No, try. I believe. Oh, it's no, too I, funny. I laugh. It is. Oh, it's too funny. <laughs> that first time I heard that, bro, I had to mute my mic, bro. And people, were, people were crazy, bro. And I, and I was like, please do not tell me who I, I uh, the very first person that was telling me. I was like, please, please, I pray, do not tell me who these people are. Please, don't, don't do that to my carnal mind. You go, you gonna make it hard. Please, just let me, uh, let me just, uh, just love them, love them anyway. There's. Oh, and there was <laughs> there's this one person the other day. I was trying to give them a a gift, and it it, it didn't let me. And uh, I was like, that's weird, you know, because I knew I knew that I clicked the gift button on that person, and I saw that their number was still zero. I was like, wait a minute, I just gave them something, so I did it again. A little message popped up, and I can't remember exactly what it says, but it's like you're not able to give a gift to this person. And I was like, what? So I went and gave a gift to everybody else, like one gift, ding, 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 ding. And I came back to that person and I was hitting the button. It's like, you're not able to give. You're not able to give. I was like, what is this? I was like, what is they this, bro? I, I, I haven't they confirmed like, well, yeah, I haven't confirmed like what that is, but that's what some people are saying that if Try, you can't give I'm, them a gift. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, believe me. No, no, they, no, that no, person no, I, I, I know, I know, I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm saying, I'm saying at the time, there's no way that I'm going to know why I can't give them a gift. We're, so now we're at the aftermath of it. I'm talking about at the time, I'm like, what in the world? I'm not saying I don't know now. I'm saying I didn't know then. And I was like, what in the world? So I put in the comment and I said, the, said, Hey, so-and-so, how come I can't give you a, I said, how come I can't give you a gift? <laughs> You know, I put it out there and uh, the person didn't respond. Now, maybe the person can't even see. Maybe if you block somebody, maybe you see their comments. 
I don't know. That's I don't correct. know, but I can tell you this. I can tell you this, that I know that they were putting comments in and uh, and people were responding to their comments, but I couldn't read their comments. And that's when I put that's two correct. and two together. I said, wait oh. a minute. I said, how are people responding to this person? I don't see their comment in here. And, uh, you know, anyway, so that's what it is. So if somebody blocks you, and to be honest with you, uh, this is the second one. This is the second one. And I don't even know. One of them, uh, I recognize, like, who the person is. Like, I heard their voice before, and I might have spoken to them a few times. But the second one, bro, I have no idea who that is. I heard the person's voice. I saw the photo that they have, the TikTok photo, the name. I I have never, and, and, and I mean, maybe I just forgot, but I don't recall who that one is. Like, I don't know who that is. And I couldn't send, uh, couldn't send him a gift. I was like, man, it's like, all right. So when I was probably, uh, uh, topping in there, they probably couldn't even see my comment. Maybe. Uh -huh. Well, I wanted to, um, <clears throat> besides getting the box for a few moments, um, I wanted to tell you that, um, if you are using promotion on your, as for any of the upcoming events, um, depending on how many followers you have trot, you know, that TikTok is required to pay you. If you have so many followers, over 10,000 followers, up to 100,000, they are required to pay you. And if you use the promotion, they will suppress your life. That's one of the new things. If, if you have not read the contract that they put out, um, a lot of big creators, um, how their lives have been suppressed. So just be mindful when you use the promotion to promote something, um, doing a live event is still fine to do, but paying for your life to go out, I would discourage that. And then also anybody in the box, I know I've said it before in the comments, but I don't know if anybody truly paid attention. Um, people in the box, um, how we should not like the live because that will suppress the live. We just need to put hashtag FYP in the comments and the people in the comments need um, need to like and the more engagement you have in the comments the more you are pushed out to the FYP and that's why I put the live <clears throat> and try to get um, try to get people to hit the like button once you hit over 10,000 likes you're out on the FYP because that means you have a, a room that is truly engaged in the conversation. Yeah, just well, to I'm give sure. You yeah, I mean, I, I've, yeah, no, I mean, I've learned that the that TikTok has, you know, uh, you know, it's got its rules and it's it's uh, you know, it's SOP, you know, that's it's standard operational procedures, right, that they conduct and. Uh, you can try to play with that algorithm as much as you can, which by the way, obviously you should, I get that a hundred percent, but man, dude, uh, they, you know, the, it seems like the game changes every month. You know, they want you to, you know, kind of pick up the way that they're, they're doing it differently every month, but, 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 but that's all I can say right now, but, but, but yeah, no worries. Yeah. So, uh, there's, so if y'all just hopped in, obviously there's a lot of people that just hopped in the past few minutes. Uh, <clears throat> we'll be putting out a new video of something that we will be going over uh, this week. It might just be a day or two worth. Cause you have to remember we're on here for approximately two hours. Um, and, uh, you know, I can probably talk about that subject probably a full week. I, I don't want to push it out that far, but it'll probably be a day or two. I'll probably just make it a day or two. <clears throat> so, but I would, I would be asking what's the, what's the news on uh, Israel and all that, but God dog, 
it's already a month. Like before you know, it's going to be a, a year's worth of war. I'll say this. Uh, I haven't watched any news on it in a couple of days, but uh, they have confirmed uh, several locations that um, were these tunnels that they've been talking about. Because remember, they've been called liars that these tunnels are not there. It's not real and all this. Um, but they have con- confirmed miles <laughs> of underground tunnels, bro. Miles. And it's um, it's just... Uh, well, let, 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 let me ask you this then. Let me ask you this, Trot, since uh, um, we haven't talked about this in a while. What, what do you think about the debate so far and, and the, the Vivek Ramaswamy? Like, what, what, do you, what are your thoughts on him so yeah, far? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. Yeah, that's a good question. Matter of fact, people. let me... He's been destroyed. Yeah, let me... Well, <laughs> yeah, so let me... If y'all remember, if y'all remember, uh, if you can recall the first... De- after the first uh, debate, the very first one, I told you who the main people were going to be and you don't have to be a genius. Okay. To figure it out. It's just conversation. Right. But I told you that Trump obviously is going to be number one uh, at um, uh, Mike Pence is, I mean, not Mike Pence. uh, DeSantis is possibly going to be number two, along with Mike Pence being number two along. And I'm only saying that because of Mike Pence's name. And then I said that the number three is going to be Vic. He, he's going to be out of everybody else up there uh, that he was going to be number three. And I gave reasons why other people would drop out. There was one female that was there that uh, uh, I, I need to look up their names, man. I don't remember. Let me type it in real quick so I can. Uh, and uh, are, are they going to have one more debate? Or done? I'm not. A, I think they're. I, I want to say they're done but i could be wrong um what i could tell you is uh hey, pinky, pinky what's up i'm sorry you. bro i haven't seen i'm sorry yeah i'm no, sorry dude, i haven't seen pinky in here so long like some of you guys if y'all don't come in here for several months you're definitely going to have me uh notice and and uh misunderstood was getting there i ain't seen her in like two weeks i don't know where she's been hiding she's been hiding boy been hiding. Oh, excuse me. Been hiding. I've been oh, in the comments. Been there, bro. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm talking about I'm talking about uh coming up here. Not not that you have oh. here at all. <laughs> She's well, like try, I'm excuse sorry. me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. No, no, no. I, I like to throw no, no, curveballs, no. man. No, just, it's okay. No, no. Baby, it's I like it's to okay, talk boo. It's, it, it, hey, I know hey, you do. I, like I know you do. trash, okay? I like to talk but, trash. But uh, no, but uh, honestly though, I've been working twelve hours a day, so I haven't been. I've been just listening and and modding. That's why. Man, yeah. Uh, yes. No, no worries. I know. I'm just. All right. Let me see. Uh. So you're talking about? Um. By the way, uh, he, he she was just on the floor, bro. Um. Viv- Vivek just destroyed her in the last. <laughs> in Nikki Haley, bro. You talking about Nikki Haley? Yeah. 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 He just yeah, destroyed I'm trying to get her, there. bro. The, the the last the last debate, he just I mean, he just embarrassed her. She turned red. Yeah, no, he's crying. gonna bro, he's gonna destroy. I <laughs> know uh, he's gonna destroy everybody. And let me, I'm trying to get, let me get to the, uh, let me get to this. There's a literally as a very specific page that I want to get to. Maybe this is it right here. Oh, I come on! I cannot wait to see Vivek and uh, and Trump debate, bro. That's gonna be amazing. I, I, that's gonna be box yeah. Okay, office, so so check it out. Also check it out. Yeah, so Nikki Haley, uh, and where's the one? Let me see. I, I can't find the guy. Uh, the, the, the the fat guy that was talking about when they asked him about aliens. <laughs> no, no, the African American guy. What was his name? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, hold on, hold on. Is, it is Evans? his last name Scott? Like Scott, yeah. Is that's it what Scott? It is. Scott, yeah. It's Scott. Yep. T- is it Tim Scott? Tim Scott, yep. I think that's who it is. Yeah, yeah. It's Tim Scott, uh, bro. Yeah. Okay. So, so Scott and uh, Haley, the one you brought up, um, those two, in my opinion, are on the same level. Um, to be honest with you, they're on the same level. Uh, they're going to get the same respect. Uh, they're going to get less disrespect because that's the era that we're in right now. Donald Trump's going to get all the disrespect. And just so you know, uh, it's not because he's Donald Trump. Anybody that 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 has already uh, been president, 
uh, they, they're going to get the most disrespect, right? Because this is it's a it's a challenge, right? So they're going to get the business, right? But uh, uh, Hutchinson, uh, it, people are going to see him too old. Uh, Mike Pence is at that age where you really can't call him too young or too old, but that's why he attacked uh, uh, Vic with that, saying he was basically saying that Hutchins was too old and and uh, and Vic was too young, and he's so. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be uh, – so Vec is definitely – matter of fact, can somebody pull up percentage? What's the percentage right now on the candidates? And matter of fact, hey, I need an update on who's left. I don't remember. I think there's only five left, I think. No, it's – it's, it's uh, I, I, I believe it's only uh, three, bro. I believe it's just Vivek, um, DeSanti, and Nikki Haley were the only ones I saw. I could be wrong, though. Give me a second. Yeah. I could be wrong, but I thought it was just them three. And then obviously Trump. No, it, yeah, no it could it could be th it could be three. I was just saying it's it's there's not a lot of them left. I just don't know what the number is. Oh, I don't Scott know what was it in is. there too. I think Scott was in there too. But but Scott. So is it four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you asking? Okay, so you're saying you're saying Haley, Scott, Trump, and Vic. You're saying that's that's no, it. No, just and them, them four. And the Santis. And the Santis. Oh yeah, that's right. Five. Okay. Okay, so well, I thought it was four or five, but either way, it's still half of what it was. Is the point? There's not a whole lot of people. Okay, so it's going to be Haley, Scott, Trump, Vec, and DeSantis. So I need to find a list that just has them five. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, well, I'm getting told six right here. Who is this? Be. I don't know. I don't know who this guy is. I, I never seen this dude's face in my life. Well, I ain't never seen Vic's face in in, in in my fear. I've seen the rest of them, but Vic is completely new to me when he first came out. I'm looking at the uh, polls though. Like right now Trump is up by like point like forty five, plus forty seven, plus forty one, plus forty four. <laughs> like there is nobody else even remotely. No, close I wanna know point. I wanna know about Vic. I wanna know Vic's percentage. He has oh, to be at here. least ten by now. It, it, he's in here. He's not he's in there. In here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's at seven. So, well, like, the okay, yeah. is 13, seven. And then they got actually Haley and Pence at one point above him. But this is November 9th. This this can't be right, though, because Pence dropped out. So how does he have points? I'm not sure. Oh, there, no, it, it's still there. Still polls. People are still going to uh, uh, put their vote for him. Like, basically, they're not going to concede their vote until the last minute so what you you know the way they play that is you're like okay so if pence is out and pence bro check this out this is how you're gonna play it if pence still has people that would want to vote for him 90 percent of those people will not vote for trump that's the whole reason they're voting for pence to begin with so let's just say pence has five percent there might be a 0 0.5 percent out of that five percent that might vote for trump but that's a that's a low number so that means all those votes for pence are going to go to the person running up against trump more than likely so well if, this if is uh is still... i'm looking at this thing right here and um this is from november 3rd 2023 so october 31st to november 3rd 2023 which was 10 days ago at Trump 61, DeSantis 18, Haley 9, Ramaswamy 5, Scott 4. So, you know. Scott 4, yeah. yeah. Hey, out of Scott and Haley, who's got more? Out of Scott and Haley? Uh, Haley Haley's at 9%. She's above Ramaswamy, bro. Okay, 9%. Yeah, well, no, dude, it's because Haley's known. Like, I know who that I, is. I, like, she's known. Listen, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't vote for yeah. her if she was the only person on the ballot. <laughs> no, absolutely, absolutely not. I, I, I would, out of her and Pence, I'm not sure who I'd vote for. To be honest with you, Pence. If they were the last 100%. two, I, would say. <laughs> I, would I don't know, man. Pence. I mean, I'm not saying it wouldn't be Pence. I'm just saying it, it wouldn't be easy, you know. And I think Trump is he, is he at fifty something? What'd you say, Trump 61, was? Sixty one, sixty one. Ah, sixty one. Yeah. Oh my God! It's like every time he gets indicted, he gets another percent. Yeah. Yeah. So let me see. This one might be more update. Let me see. That is crazy. Sixty-one. I thought he was in the fifties. He already got to the sixties. Oh my lord. Yes, bro. That means oh, it doesn't make geez, any sense, bro. 
<clears throat> no, it doesn't. It really don't, to be honest with you. It really don't. And I and, well, and I say this like I think it, makes it says sixty sense. something. Well, I I can see both sides. I can see exactly why it makes no sense, and I can see why it makes sense. But this is how you know that the times are changing in America because in the in the I'm just getting straight to the fifties, sixties, and seventies. Bubba, if anybody in the fifties, sixties, and seventies had even one percent of the crap that they're saying about Trump, nobody would vote for them people. Nobody would. And so what's happening is uh, the Democratic Party is hoping that people are still that way, you know, uh, and I hate to use these words, but the Democratic Party are hoping <clears throat> that America is still looking at uh, trying to treat this like this is someone running to be pope. And it's been like that for a long time, right? Like, like if we have perfect people in America, and uh, as long as you don't see the skeletons in the closet, then they're not there, and they're a good candidate. That's how America has been choosing presidents for a long time. Yeah, it's they got to be a pastor. Perfect, you. They got to be pastor worthy. <laughs> yeah, they have to be a pastor, right? That's exactly how. And so they, and and it's starting to get to the point where people are like, no, look, listen. When America, America's only hey, 200 years old. Hey, they, they, would, they, would, they would go to First Titus and look at the elder criteria. Has to be a man given that's to right. one woman. That's <laughs> right. Yes. Yes, bro. Yeah, for I know, real. I know. <laughs> no, yeah, no, 100%, man. So what's happening, what's happening it is, you know, listen, okay, so let, let's just, man, let's just get to the nitty gritty because this is, we, mo, more than anything else, we talk about God's stuff on here, but America's 200 years old. And, and even though we established a good foundation, and I know people will say, you know, no, we didn't. I'm not talking about slavery. I'm saying at least we tried in some way to start the nation with, with God. This idea that America should have been perfect because we brought God. No, no, no. No establishment's perfect, right? So any establishment, I don't care if it's a business, a, a school, or, or a church, the worst thing about them places are the people. So to sit here and, and act like that America wasn't going to have bad people, it's just re, it's so funny to me. So, you know, the worst thing about America when it started was bad people. But when people try to say, oh, well, the whole America was bad. Now, here we go. Now that's saying that all of Walmart is bad. <laughs> all, you know, all, all any establishment is bad because there's people. No, no, no. There's always going to be people that aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing, period, the end. But... The point is, America's a new, a new country, man. 200 years old, it's a baby. So we're still trying to figure things out how we want to do it. Other countries said, oh, we figured it out. It's communism. You got to give people just enough food so they can stay on the teat. That, that's how these countries run their country. They want to run their country based on the fact that the people need us. The people needs the government. That's that's how the Communist Party likes to to run it. So when people say, well, that can be argumented, uh, I mean, uh, you know, an argument can be brought against that. Of course it could. An argument can be brought against anything. So uh, that doesn't mean that it's valid or there's any validity there. You can, you can argue it all day long. But the point is America is a young country. And America is still trying to figure things out. And so if you look at the, 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 the base of everything, right, we basically took the Mosaic law. Okay. Now in this world, you have to have laws period in this world. Okay. And I'm talking about in this world where Jesus is not reigning 100% as King. That's what I'm saying. The, the carnal world, we have to have laws. Okay. So we take the Mosaic law basically <laughs> And we tell people, thou shalt not kill, <laughs> thou shalt not steal, right? And we tell, hey, you be bad. If you're bad, we're going to put kick you out to the at outskirts and treat you like a leper, right? All right? So you can't be bad. All right, so the thing is, though, is eventually, if you aren't a felon, someone you know is, eventually, right? It's just a, it's just a matter of time that... There is going to be more felons and more felons. It's just a matter of time. It doesn't mean everybody, but what happens is you make all these rules because you're hoping, right, that we live in a peaceful society, 100%. That's what you're hoping for. But the truth is crime will always continue. It will always be here. <clears throat> so people become tough on crime because they don't have felons in their family. Right. It's so easy. It's so easy to be tough on crime when you don't have felons in your family. Let's be tough on crime. Look, first of all, uh, Ooh, yes, we have right. to be. 
just just hear me out. You have to be tough on crime, 100 percent. But it, the 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 uh, strategy is a self uh, uh, destructive method. It doesn't mean that it's a bad method because obviously you have to be tough on crime, obviously. Right. But of course, we can break down how tough and then, you know, the intricate details and all that. I get all that 100 percent. I'm not saying everybody should be running around doing. No, I'll never agree with that. I'll never agree that it's OK for someone to take a trash bag and go fill it up with whatever they want. Walk out of a store and be like, OK, it was less than 500. You know, I, I will never agree that that's OK. Never. Uh, it's it's wrong. 100 percent. I'll never agree. But it's just, you know, you have to put some sort of boundaries. There's got to be boundaries. And it is go going to affect uh, a certain types of people. And I'm not talking about skin color. I'm talking about people that maybe their family, because if you look at skin colors, I can show you a poor part of America that is 100% one skin color in every place. So I can find a place where it's a neighborhood of like, you know, a couple of thousand people where it's all black people. And I can go find you a neighborhood exactly the same, but they're all white people or they're all different colors, all Hispanic people. They're, there's always going to be people that just they just don't feel like they need to push hard in life. They just don't for whatever the reason is not about pointing the finger, but here are all different reasons. Well, I didn't have parents that cared. You know, another one will say, oh, well, I didn't have the opportunity because of this. I, I'm saying all the reasons will be given. But the, the point is they all have pretty much the same mindset. And so the more wealthier people uh, uh, at times will have less felons because the funds are, are there for them not to want to become criminal. I get all the arguments I'm saying it all boils down to eventually <clears throat> there were people that said, Hey, we need to put criminals in jail. Okay. And everybody's like, that makes sense. You got to put them in jail. But what ends up happening is it, and now it's going to hit home. Because eventually it's going to be someone in your quote unquote respected family that goes to jail. And now you don't like that they got 10 years, but you were the one that made the law. But you don't like so now there's a temptation to be corrupt. Like, well, hold on. You know, I got friends here and maybe we can. And so now this Biden Jr. Five years <coughs> <pro> Biden Jr. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. So. So what happens is we use that we use that law, okay? We use that law to establish boundaries, which I will always agree with 100%. But this is this for me, this is how you know that God is real because no matter how hard we try, we cannot perfect this system. We can't. We don't know how to do it. We don't know how to perfect a system because in order to perfect it, you would have to tell people, I trust your flesh. <laughs> the Bible makes it real clear. The Bible makes it real clear that you cannot trust your flesh and you cannot trust another person's flesh. You can't. You cannot trust the flesh. The flesh is the problem. Right? So, so. Does that mean we just let everybody just run around doing what they want? No, we got to set boundaries. Okay, so then we set boundaries, and then the people that are setting the boundaries, their own family members are breaking these laws, and then now they have a choice to make. Are you going to uphold the law, that same standard, to your family member, or are you going to become corrupt and figure out some way to swindle them out of it? So let's say that they're like, hey, it is what it is, you know, son, daughter, whoever, you're going to prison. So then now that family starts going downhill because now daddy's not there, mommy or whoever. And, and, you know, it, it now it affects that family and then, you know, and so on and so forth. And so it's just continue cycle. And then, so now w w it's 2023 where we've been using this system to choose presidents. So we've been utilizing this, uh, non felon, uh, don't break the law. They're good enough to be and it's like, okay, why? Why are they good enough? Well, they haven't done nothing wrong. Okay, well, guess what? If you haven't noticed, we're past that threshold now. We are literally at the point in America where there are people that are so afraid of what the government is doing right now that they 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 would rather have a, a felon. You know why? Because because it has happened. It has happened where the where 
if you aren't a felon, you know someone who is. And now felonies are hitting home on just about everybody's door at this point. So it's no more the super rich, nobody's a felon. That's a lie. It's a lie. If that's what you think, it's a lie. I'm not saying there's more felons now than there ever has been. No, no, no. I'm saying we have reached that point where uh, people are noticing corrupted policies. They're noticing it and they're saying, hey, this ain't okay for the people to be fit. Those people not it's the hammers coming down a little bit more on all the sides than it than it was before. But again, I'm not saying there's more felons. Maybe someone can look up the s- statistics on what year, uh, you know, in America had the most felons created or whatever. I mean, maybe you can look that up, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about we have more felons now than we ever had. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it is true that more and more as time goes, uh, felons, the felon, if if there were dots all in America where the felons were, uh, they're a little more spread out than they used to be is, is what I'm saying. It ain't like it's just in one little location or like, you know, in one state, one location, you know, all the little dots are right there. No, I'm saying they're spread out a little bit more. Um, and we are no longer as, as, as an American society, we, uh, you can just tell Americans are not fallen for this person's bad don't vote for him they're not falling for it no more because if they were bro nobody would be voting for trump no would and when people are starting to notice no something's wrong somewhere and and i don't know where but now the felon is uh and i'm saying that because that's what everybody's calling him right the felon uh taylor said 1991 what was 1991 taylor is that the year that had the most? Uh, yeah, the year felonies? that had the most felonies. Yeah, the most. Yeah, felonies, that was probably. Is that is that is that under Bill Clinton? <laughs> no, it wasn't under Bill Clinton, Smarty. Who was it? <laughs> Shoot, <laughs> that, <laughs> that was under Bush. It was one of them Bush people that y'all vote for. But well, no, hey, but, that's, um, that's funny but, because no. hey, that's funny because uh, Bu- one, hey, Bush and Obama, a hey, Bush and Obama. Hey, hold on a second, hold on a second. Bush and Obama are sure good friends. <laughs> Oh, I know. That's what. Okay, so I was going to say. I was going to say that, Trot. I mean, but but no, people people don't understand. I mean, I'm in total agreement with you in regards to to me. This whole thing, everybody is is a freaking hypocrite because if Trump wasn't running for president and if he didn't have all this money, quote unquote, he would be in the courtroom right now, facing trial and being sentenced. Yeah, let's just keep and, it a buck. Fact, it's ridiculous. Yeah, and, 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 well, I mean, he is. he's been in court like for a a year. <laughs> you know, it it's just that he just his so trial happens. would have been over. I would have, but my point is his trial. Would oh, okay, have been I see what over. you're saying. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, yeah. So, so obviously, because he has funds, that he's he's able to take advantage of the legal system and hire. Uh, more than one lawyer, right? So it is true that again, again, that just proves that money's a tool, right? And the more you have, the more uh, you're able to build something because of these tools, right? So a person that has no money cannot build a house. They can't. They don't have any tools to build a house. But money is a tool, and so with money, you can buy tools. And lawyers are tools, but in order to get them, you have to have fun. So I'm with you hundred percent that, um, uh, that if it wasn't for him having, uh, tools, then he, yeah, man, his, you know, it would have been over by now. And to be honest with you, uh, I don't know how soon, but it would have been over by now. I don't care if it would have been over last month or the month before, because sometimes some of these, uh, you know, trials and all these things can last a year or two, just depending on the, on the situation. So, uh, and that's yes. sometimes people that have no money. Sometimes people that have no money, their their trials can last a year or two. You know, and I'm talking they have no money whatsoever. No, you're uh, right. Now, no, that is right. rare. There's somebody it, I'm helping bring home yeah, now. It, it it his trial was yeah. like that. But it's it yeah. It's it's sad. It, the whole the whole thing is sad because it just reflects how even though there are laws in place some people may be able to get away with it and some people are not. And then those are the ones 
and and they both they both broke the law but because you have funds and you have this dream team you may be able to escape the consequence and how is that fair it's not but this is what this country is based upon and people but, can disagree. Yeah, I, I don't no, care about like, I don't care about yeah. Trump being a Republican or none of that. I'm looking at I'm I'm looking at the facts. The facts remain. If he was a regular Joe Blow, if he was you, Trot, Dre, Flip, myself, you know we would have been already convicted and serving time. Let's just keep it. Let's just keep and, it and, real. And, you know what? That's, and that's the thing. And, yeah, Let me and, say this real quick. Let me say this real quick. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Um, um, misunderstood. But here's here's one here's one of the hypocrisies of America, right? So like these guys that stormed the Capitol building, which was wrong, right? They did it, and they did what they did, and they desecrated supposedly desecrated federal buildings, yada 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 yada. And some of those guys got caught. Some of those guys have been tried, so on and so forth. Can you tell me why? These people, these Palestinian people have desecrated federal monuments, changed the American flag, put a Palestinian flag and graffitied all of the federal buildings and statues of America in the in, in the Capitol, in Washington, D.C., in New York. And none of these I don't see not one police officer or anybody up in arms in America saying these guys are terrorists. They're they're criminals. They should be tried for desecrating. Let me see you the live. I have lives, Dre. I'll send you one, and you'll hear it for yeah, yourself. But, but let me just people are, about, are agreeing about, with you. Yeah, but I'm not. Ta I'm talking about where's the action because the federal government took action to prosecute these people and have pictures of them, and it was all over CNN and all over these these news uh, uh things. But I don't see anybody getting prosecuted or pictures of or the police arresting anybody for desecrating federal property. These Palestinians, nobody. I don't. Well, see they any say of that we have the biggest gang. They say they say government is the biggest legal gang that there is. They but do America, more corrupt America is harder on America than anything else. Than these people that well, don't even love hold on, country. let me. They don't even oh, let me say country. this. I, I think the, I think care? the question, I think the question would be this. Like for instance, misunderstood. Do you think that these people that are uh, doing these things right now should they should they be in trouble as well? I think that'd be the question. Should they be in trouble as well? Because they're doing pretty much the same thing. They're breaking the that law. The Americans. They're breaking the law. Yeah. So there you go. They're breaking and, and that's the law. all Dre's so, pointing out. It. So so that that alone is pointing out a huge hypocrisy in the government period. Now I will say this, uh I, I will throw this out there. Uh you know, uh, uh, and, 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 and what Dre is saying is is 100 percent correct. But the other side of that is that that's exactly <clears throat> what these people want. So if you start throwing them in jail, there will be a lie that starts going into uh, the uh, sex of these type of people that are living in America that could you uh, uh, ignite something that you don't want. So uh, PR, public relations right now is very important in, in america and um I, I did a lot of that type of work when i was overseas and uh just to make it simple uh you know <laughs> yeah it, people don't like it and let me just say this pr public relations is an ugly job if you if you don't know if you don't know that it, then you should know it's an ugly job it is a job of lying it is a job of manipulation it is a it is a huge it's like playing cleopatra in 2000 24 that that's what PRing is and people can sit there and say it's not if you know anything about it or you got or you were any good at it at all that's the name of the game it's kind of like you being the insurance company and everybody gives you all their money because you said that they'll be okay but then when something happens they fight to give you any of that money if you don't understand that Absolutely. that's what PR is then that's what PR is so PR public relations is you going into the cities or the, the areas and making everyone believe that everything's going to be okay knowing that one house is about to blow up next week oh yeah, Bubba, i did it for social security for years bro i did that for social security for years and you do a lot of lying for sure <laughs> yeah okay so so so, so it, yeah so let me see so pr in like in the the way that that dre did it right it's the the tactics are the same but when you're out pring in a war OK, and you typically, you you know, a sniper can pop your head like a cheery day and you're out there talking to all these people in the middle of a war. You're out there in these people's faces talking to them. 
what you're trying to do is you're trying to stop a, a potential uh, moment that could ignite into something that shouldn't. And if that does happen, that means U.S. casualties. So you cannot just go in there and start arresting all these people that are, I don't care what they're doing to the Capitol. You can't because this is what they want. This is this could possibly set off uh, again. I, I don't call it, you know, World War Three, but, it, you know, it could. It, you know, it's funny that people are like, oh, you know, a, a world war, bro. It's already happened twice. It looks like it's been twice since America has been here. If you go study history, there's been a few world wars. OK, I don't care if half the world wasn't even known about. Well, guess what? The other half were all at war. So, uh, we're just saying in, 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 in that since America has been here, right, for the past 200 something years, there has been two world wars that are, uh, you know, uh, advertised as that. Right. So in the new world, which is, you know, for the past 200 years, there could be a world war three to add on uh, where America was part of it. And so, uh, you know, so. I understand like, man, that's not fair. You know, these people need to be arrested and that's 100% true. And let me just say this, uh, <clears throat> I'm just saying this, make it very clear. There are lots of names and residences of people <laughs> that went out there and did this. And uh, you will hear about some of them being arrested, but right now is not the time, but I'm sitting here telling you they better leave if, if, if they don't want to be arrested, if they really believe that America does not have them on a list right now, uh, you know, I probably shouldn't even say that, but I'm sitting there telling you, don't be surprised if two, three years go down the road and they're like, and so and so, if you remember, this was happening and you're just going to hear people say about time. It's it's all it's all about uh, uh, the, uh, the chess pieces on the board, man. So, you know, the. You know, they, they may have moved three pawns up. The queen came out ready to attack, but it's the long game. And so these people that are protesting, they're trying to win a sprint. But America will always win the marathon. So I'll just say that. We'll leave it at that. But um, so, Trump, yeah, um, that I, I agree with you in regard. I mean, everything everything that you and Dre have stated is is true and factual. But the whole my whole thing is that well excuse me let me rephrase that um it sounds like to me what he, my perspective is that everybody basically has read the 48 laws of power and they're working it on the u.s on the u.s people and some people are just um, buying it hook line and sinker and the ones who know what they're doing are, are just getting over it. and then when when everything starts to unfold it's going to be the aha moment like we're all becoming, as they say, quote unquote, woke on how things are really, truly ran and how things are not, are disenfranchised. And so it's it's an eye opener because you're right. No one cares about laws until it affects their family. No one cares about this until they're adversely affected. And then now they want to change something. But then it's too late. It's too late. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and so, yep. you know, we, you know, every year there's someone, some new politician coming up. I don't care if they haven't ran for something or not. It, it popped in their head. And then maybe the next year they will run. But every year. Hold on. Every year there well, are I'm people. I like that... No, go ahead, Mac. Mac, go ahead. Oh, okay. I was just gonna say misunderstood. I like, I like what you said there, um, because uh, you know, even if you look at Martin Luther King, right? You just said that no one, no one is going to uh, worry about anything else unless it's affecting them personally. And that, that's why, again, I like the message from Martin Luther King. He said, you know what? Some people they go after the Catholics because of this, that, and the other. He said, but I stand with my Catholic brothers and sisters. He said, because, you know, I, I need to support them in their time. Or they went after the Jews. I support them in their time. I think that is ultimate play that one side of America wants is to keep the division, keep, uh, like Dre said, 
you don't not really persecuting one side at the time. But if if this would have been the same January six people to climb the White House fence, uh, they'd have been dropping like flies right there on the sidewalk. Uh, I think I think they want to keep this division going. I think they want to um, continue this two-party system, this division, right? But ultimately, like I I kind of have hope and kind of like what Trot's saying. Like, America will always win the marathon. Um, I don't know, man. Like, the more the more I look into, like, end times things, it's like, does does America actually come out on top? Or, you know, is this part of her judgment as well? Jesus. Come well, uh, you know, and here's the thing. Let right. me say this. Let me say this about the whole judgment thing. I, I try to tell you guys, and I know y'all don't – I know y'all get mad at me like I'm trying to act like I'm people's daddies. Look – uh, you know, uh, the whole judgment thing. <clears throat> oh, my Lord. Look, uh, America is not going to get judged the way everybody is saying. Uh, Saudi Arabia is not going to get judged. Listen, all judgment was put on Christ. I know people can't stand it. They don't like it. There is not going to be this individual nation judging. Not not the way people are saying. All judgment, all sin, all, I'm sorry, all of it has been put on Christ. All of it, there's some sin floating around somewhere that hasn't been put on Christ. That That is 100% taken care of. There is no country without sin in this world. None. <clears throat> I don't care where it is. I'm, you can go to, you know, I think there's over 200 and some countries in the world. You cannot go to some country and tell me, oh, God's not going to judge this. If God judges America, he's going to judge all the countries. No, nobody is exempt from that kind of judgment. So what happens is people take God out of their country, and that doesn't mean God's like, oh, well, y'all took me out. It's time to judge. No, 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 no. Judgment is natural when God's not there. It's not God ordering it. It's already like it's a fact, like gravity. If you know, and I know people are we're we're, we're starting to get we're, start, we're starting There's to get another to another rabbit trail. Of, you know, <laughs> Did you say yeah, it's a, it's okay? It's okay. I know how to come back. But it, you know, it's like it's people say. Uh, uh, oh, gravity's not real. It's density. I, I don't care what you call it. The the point is, gravity is a law. <clears throat> density, whatever you want to call it. If if you throw something off of a top of a building, it's going to hit the ground. I'm talking about something that does have weight. I'm not talking about air off a building. I'm saying if you take something that has any weight at all, it's going to hit the ground. And so God's word is is that. There are spiritual laws that are here. And if you get in your flesh and are 100% in your flesh, it causes destruction. So if you take God out of a country, it's not that God just said at that moment, oh, I need to bring judgment. No, 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 no. The judgment happened as soon as man fell, as soon as the fallen world fell, Adam chose that. And there, there is a natural destruction, obviously, that comes through Satan, which is the flesh, when you live your life in the flesh. It's a natural thing, just like law is natural. But God is not picking and choosing who he's judging. He says, I set before you life and death, and then he gives you the answer. Choose life. So if you don't choose life, who is the tree of life, which is Christ, if you don't live your life under love, then destruction is naturally going to be an effect, a, a, a effect of not using love. So if if America, right, decides as a whole not to use love and use nothing but hate and then put themselves under some sort of like tyrannical government where we get into all these other things, uh, then it's just destruction waiting to happen in itself. It ain't God. So God's not going to show up and be like, America, how dare you? Bro, 100 years old. America is too. America is not the whore. <laughs> Great Babylon is uh, that's, not that's a, a good Iraq in those areas, huh? Do what? I said. I said no. That makes sense. That's a good train of thought because I never. I've actually never. I know. I've looked at it in the, in that light as individuals for us and salvation is taking that punishment. But actually, if you if you look at the whole picture and that that kind of judgment system before the cross. Or, you know, God allowing a thing to happen, right? Um, Christ bore all of that on the cross. So it's no more. All of it. So let me just say this. Yeah. So back. if God, yeah. 
Yeah, so if God showed up today and was like, America, how dare you, on whore, and he somehow, like, individually picks out America and starts throwing lightning bolts, bro, he'd have to apologize to Jesus. That makes yep. no sense. Makes no sense at right. all. And that's why you don't hear me talk about the book of Daniel and Revelation, because 95% of the people that read that have no idea what they're talking about. They 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 forget every they forget all, and I'll use this word, uh uh, uh God's legal system. They forget all of God's legal system and they just read it and say, This is what it means, and they they forget God's legal system. All authority has been given unto Jesus, period. The end. So if all authority has been given unto Jesus, then it will never stop. It will never cease. Every sin that has ever been committed, all the whoredoms, you name it, I don't care what it is, it all died with Christ, period, the end. And as soon as you stop forgetting that, because all you see, and when I say you, I mean figuratively, whoever, you know, and you're like, the world is horrible. As soon as you start doing that, now that person has forgot God's legal system. My friend, the judgment has occurred. It all is on Christ. All of it. Period. The end. And they're like, no, the book of Revelation. I'm sorry. They call me the toe stomper. You have no idea what you're talking about. I'm sorry. I apologize. Whoever you are, you don't know what you're talking about. And so it's easy, right? Though, But it's easy to argue the Bible because all you have to say is, well, you don't. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay, fine. Fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead and keep telling people that America's Babylon. And no, no, listen, Babylon is not a geographical location. Babylon is a people. And I don't care. There could be five people in China. There could be five people in Russia. And there could be five in America. And they're all not saved. They do not have the mark of Christ. They have the mark of the beast. And those people are the nation of Babylon, the great whore. There's only two women in the Bible, the whore and the bride. And you're either one or the other. You're either the city, the unholy nation, or you're the peculiar people. Does anybody, can anybody, uh, the peculiar people? Nobody? Nobody knows what verse No, but that, that just made a lot of sense. First too, Peter 2 and 9. Story. It's First Peter 2 read, and 9. First read Peter 2 and 9. Somebody read it. Somebody read it. Somebody. Read it. Somebody. Oh, anybody. Okay. I'm washing dishes, so somebody else has to read it. But it's First Peter 2 and 9. It's one of my that favorites. Says, somebody read it. It says, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should right. chew for okay. of him. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, so on and on I can go with this, and this is the problem, is people are making fun of parables in the Bible in its entirety instead of learning them. This is what's hurting a lot of people. Their carnal minds seeing uh, geographical locations in this world instead of understanding the, the, the parabolic language in the Bible. The parabolic language is way more important than what is going on in this world. The bond so, woman and the free woman. <laughs> the, exactly. So there's only two women. And it's the bond woman or the free woman. And it's the same thing. The whore or the bride you're either uh in bondage or you're set free but it's all talking about the same thing you're either part of one nation or you're the other all it's talking about is the mark you either have the mark of christ or you have the mark of the beast if you have the mark of the beast you're the whore period if you have the mark of christ and you're the holy nation right the me the sense. man in white linen with the ink corn by his uh, side what the whore. I said that makes sense. The whore without a husband, or us who is yes has a husband and married to the groom. Right, and and why are they separated? Because their belly is not the living water. Their belly is their god. They worship themselves. It's all about emotions and their feelings, their will. It's not the will of God. It's their will. It's the same thing. The problem is people are not putting the time. And trying to understand the parabolic part of the Bible, they think it's silly, they don't care, it's not real. And guess what? They get to worship their feelings, they get to worship their emotions, and they get to talk about destruction when America, the the, the Babylon whore, America's going to get. They, they, their whole life is about that. 
And that ain't at all what the Bible's saying. They're just in la-la land all by themselves. That is not what the Bible's talking about. That's the same mindset that did not receive Jesus when he was here because they were expecting a physical person like to 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 dis, to uh, destroy the physical Romans right here. And it's the same mind. Only the carnal mind could not understand what the Bible was saying. But the carnal mind thought it had it figured out. And it goes, oh, well, if he's the Messiah, then he's going to destroy the Romans. Rawr! No, 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 my friend. No, no, no. No, no, no. There were two. There are two. Uh, um, uh, promised lands. Two. Israel, the physical, and Jesus, the spiritual. Jesus came to redeem us back to the promised land, which is Eden. Eden is the land flowing with milk and honey. And Jesus came to restore that. But they didn't understand that. They thought he came to restore the physical land, the physical promised land. But Jesus is Israel. That's him. He's it. That's why Jacob was named Israel. I don't got time to go through all the parables right now, but this stuff has to click at some point where you can understand what the promised land is today, what it used to be, and even before that, what it was. Right. So first it was Eden, then it was fallen. And so God took them and said, hey, under Abraham, I'm going to this gonna be a forever covenant. And so they take him to Israel. Right. Which was the first step before we were able to be reunited with God. So they made it to Israel. And who was it that led them to the promised land? Joshua, Yeshua, <laughs> salvation. So salvation if you're not saved, you cannot enter the promised land. The whole, the whole Bible is pointing to this truth. This, this, this has nothing to do with America and the great bear, Russia. It has nothing to do with any of that. These people just wasting their time reading the Bible and think they understand it has nothing to do with that. God could care less if the war is going to be cold in Russia. He could care less about any of that. There's only one main battle. That, that has taken place, the main one. And that's when Jesus came and took the authority, the rightful Adam took authority to be on the right side of the father. He took his authority. The authority was taken back by Adam because Satan took it from the first. So the last Adam came and took it back. So now there is a way back to the promised land, which is Eden. Man, we're kicked out of Eden. And guess what? now we had someone come to be a mediator, right? Just like the angel told the man that we're in the, that we're watching the sheep. He said, today a child has been born. And the angel said, peace on earth, on earth, peace on earth. The angel said, and then Jesus came and said, I don't bring peace. I bring a sword. So if you don't understand what the angel meant and you don't understand what Jesus meant, you see two different things happening. It's not. They're both saying the exact same thing, except Jesus is making sure you understand what kind of sword he's using and what that sword does. The Bible, the sword does. So all this you know, book of revelation. I, man, I ain't heard nobody right yet. If I ever hear anybody describing revelation properly, you will see me on that live. Matter of fact, let me say this. If you see me on a live talking about revelation, you can, you can count that down that whoever I'm talking to knows exactly how to explain the book of revelation care. People like that. Don't like it. I don't care. I really don't. If I ain't on your live talking about revelation, it's because it ain't being described properly. And I'm not going to be up there arguing with people that are not putting enough time and effort to understand the parabolic language in the Bible. Without it, you don't understand what you're reading. You cannot take the book of revelation and without the thousand small puzzles that are in the old Testament, how in the world could you fit how could you create a puzzle in Revelation when none of the puzzles in the Old Testament have been put together? That's how I understand it. People are not understanding that the way that Jesus authored this is you cannot just jump to one side of the book without starting at the other. I'm sorry, you can't. 
He orchestrated it this way for a reason. You cannot just jump to Revelation and be like, well, man, you know, it's what it says right here. It's like, nah, bro. Nope. 100%. Nope. That's why there's a lot of people, and, and uh, you know, I'm sure there's people here now that understand what the what the iron rod is, but not, you know, not too long ago, I had to go tell someone, brother, do you know what the iron rod is? And they're like, well, I mean, you know, they didn't. I said, bro, you're in relation talking about revelation. You don't even know what the iron rod is. I said, bro, all them verses that's, that's talking about certain things, all are pointing to this iron rod. So how in the world are you going to expound on what revelation is when there's four or five things that you don't even know what it is, man? No, it, 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 the Bible is not that way. It's not, you just get to get a piece of it. And then now it all makes sense. No, it, it will slowly make sense. But when you start skipping steps that nobody even does that in this world, nobody does. You can't go play major league baseball. If you've never played little league, it will never happen. And what I'm saying is all the training. So let's say you never play, played little league and you never played minor league but you were training somewhere. Let's say you're in Puerto Rico. They don't have major league baseball out there, but those people play baseball. So they have training. There's a lot of time and effort being put in there. I'm not saying that your name has to be on the roster on little league. I'm saying you had to have started training somewhere, but if a grown adult today, age 22 years old has never picked up a baseball ever, brother, you're not going to go play major league. I'm sorry. You're not going to fool anyone. that. It's never going to happen. And for people to say that the Bible is different, I'm sitting there telling you, no, it's not. You cannot skip a step. You can't. You still, had, Paul the Apostle had to go to the desert for three years, and he had to study everything that he knew about the Bible. First of all, he had to acknowledge he was wrong, and he had to study the Bible with the Spirit. He has never done that. So if it was all based on carnality, then Paul would have understood everything and he would have wrote three fourths of the New Testament before Jesus came. But he couldn't because he couldn't see. So it, it, but it's still, even though you received a spirit, don't mean you could start in Revelation and then just start expounding on it. No, everything, it, or a God is a God of order. So the Old Testament, all the little puzzles. So Moses had a wooden rod. And you go tell someone, uh, Jesus is Moses rod and the, the fight is on. Oh, but they'll talk about the book of Re revelation for 10 hours. <laughs> and I'll say, Hey, what's the iron rod? Well, you know, no, no. and let's say they finally, right. Let's say they, they, you know, we talk about um, the, all the rods in the old Testament. And now because of that, which I can talk about the, the rod in the old Testament for like three, four days straight. So once I do, then I said, okay, now let's go to the iron rod. And automatically they'll know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, now knowing that, what else do we need to know for you to continue to talk about revelation? And I'll point that out and point that out and point that out. And before you know it, everything they said was complete dung. It meant nothing because it didn't come from the right place, which is the word itself. The word explains everything, period. Everything. The live I was on the other day, we were talking about, Jesus been in over and writing, and they're like, oh, well, nobody knows what he was writing. I said, nobody? Nobody know? So does God know? Does God know what he was? Was Jesus God? Well, yeah. So did Jesus know what he was writing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so if Jesus knew what he was writing, you're saying there's no way for us to know what he was writing? See, what it is, is it's called being slothy. It's lazy. Instead of putting time and effort to allow God to show you what he was writing, it's like, well, it doesn't say. So since it doesn't say, then nobody knows. Man, that is that is a sad way to, if you look at the Bible that way, uh, that Bible calls that slothy. It calls it lazy. You're lazy. So, uh, you know, you didn't hear it from me. The Bible said it. You can be mad at me if you want, but, you know, sometimes... Uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, it is what it is phrases have to come out. That's called being slothy. You know, is God mad at you? Does he hate you? No, no, absolutely not. Uh, that's not the case, but it will behoove you. It would be more beneficial to you 
if you would sit with the Lord more and have him explain to you what Jesus was right, have him explain to you what, and when you say, well, it doesn't say, well, then you don't know how to read the Bible then. I don't know how, how to make this any more clear. <clears throat> if you're telling me that because the Bible doesn't say right then and there, and Jesus bent down, and he wrote, uh, like, for instance, he wrote, I like Taco Bell, and in 1985, there's going to be a place called Water Burger that comes out in Texas, and that is such a good burger. So basically, if it don't tell you what he wrote, then you don't know what he wrote. And that's how, And you've been reading the Bible like that? You're using the wrong mind to read the Bible. You're using your carnal mind to read the Bible, which means you're only focused on the black letters on a white page like Paul, the, Paul of Sarsis. Paul of Sarsis could not see what these people were saying, guys. It had nothing to do with the level of intellect. These guys walk with Jesus. So basically, people who walk with Jesus still couldn't convince people that Jesus was real. What makes you think that it's easy to convinced Jesus is real and you haven't even walked with him. It's going to be harder. Logically, at least some people were like, hey, are you Peter? Man, you meant Jesus. It'd be a little bit easier for that person to be talking to Peter. Well, guess what? All that happened over 2,000 years ago. And now you have been tasked. You, yeah, you, you have been tasked. <laughs> You have been tasked with the job to tell people that Jesus is real, and guess what? You haven't walked with them. And you haven't walked with them. I'm going to say that again if you ain't listening to what I'm saying. These people walked with Jesus. People were able to go up to them and be like, hey, you knew Jesus, right? Yeah, well, guess what? Paul knew that these guys knew Jesus, and he still wanted to murder them. But he knew, as far as he was concerned, he knew exactly what the Bible said because he read it with his carnal mind over and over. And this is the problem today. People are not descaled. You have to become descaled. There has to be a part of you that is done away with your, your physical mind. You have to, you ha first of all, you have to start reading the black letters on a white page. But Paul already understood the black letters on a white page, guys. If you think that Paul was someone that never read or understood scripture and you think he was just like hating Christians and wanting to murder them and then he meets Christ and then Christ like just downloads the Bible in his head, you are a liar, man. I'm sorry. That is not the truth. That's not what happened. So if you didn't know the scriptures like Paul and then you become saved and you jump to the book of Revelation and be like, oh, I know what it means. How? You haven't studied nothing. The spirit doesn't do what you're claiming it does. It does not do that. It doesn't allow you to be lazy. I don't know why people think this. It's such a lie. It's totally against the Bible. It's 100% against the Bible, man. That's why the Bible constantly talks about meditating on the word day and night. The word has to be meditated over which is read and understood. So the black letters on a white page, I'm sorry, you, you have to read it. I'm telling you, if you have to reevaluate the way you see the Bible, all you got to do is look at your life. Are you one of those people that starts and, but never finishes anything? Is that you? I'm telling you right now, if you're doing that with the Bible, it, it's because of that. You have pulled in a bad characteristic of this world, start something, but you don't finish nothing. And then, because nobody can prove you wrong, it's okay this time, right? Because nobody can tell. I'm telling you, there are people that can tell. I'm sitting there telling you right now. I'm one of them, and I don't care if you like it or not. I can tell if you've put time and effort in the Bible. I can tell. You can't fool me. You can fool everybody else. But you can't, you can't fool me when people start talking about the Bible. And I'm like, brother, that don't mean none of that. That's not what none of that is saying. 100%, that's not what that is saying. Which means... The person is just picking up the Bible and just saying whatever they want. Now, let me just say this. Uh, you're not going to hear me call them a false prophet. <laughs> I can't stand when people do that to each other. You're not going to hear me say, you're a wolf in sheep's clothing. and just sitting here and beating this person down. No, 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 no. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know where. Well, I don't know why, man. Man, there's too many of that going on. But I will at least say that's not what that means. And I can tell that you, you're, you're not as familiar with the Bible as you're claiming. I, I, can, I can be honest and say that. That you're not being truthful right now. Now, they may think that that's what they're saying. I'm not saying their motive is to lie. They may really believe what that means. I get it. I get it. 
But the point is, if you're one of them people that hasn't really finished anything, like you'll start something, you don't finish it, you start something, be honest with yourself. Are you doing that with the Bible? Are you really doing that with the Bible? Or instead of even starting it, you just go to the book of Revelation, Daniel and Ezekiel, and you're like, I'm going to be the Ezekiel, Daniel, uh, Revelation Relevator. I'm, God has chosen me. No, I'm going to be right now, my friend. God, I promise you. Oh, let me say it. God has not chosen you because you are lazy. He has not chosen you. You can have a contrite heart all you want, but God wants someone that uses their heart and goes and finds out what everything means. They care to put their time in the Bible so God can slowly start allowing that plant to grow so there's a harvest. Seed time and harvest. The Bible talks about it on. It's, it's not stop. If you have not planted a seed in this in a particular like topic in the Bible, how in the world do you truly believe that you're going to have a harvest? That means that you believe that God is just going to give you information, right? He's just going to give it to you, but yet you didn't have to read none of the Bible. That you have to believe that. That's what you believe. And that's not true. Seed time and harvest is important. You have to plant the seed. It has to water. Do we got to go back to the parable of the sower? The seed has to be planted. You think you're going to go to the book of Revelation. You ain't planted no other kind of seed. You're like, well, I'm saved. Okay. Okay. Maybe so. What's the iron rod mean in the, in the in revelation? Well, I don't know. You know why you don't know? Because you haven't planted the seed in the old Testament. What it is, it hasn't been water. It is harvest. So you hopping over here to the harvest. You're in the harvest in your head. Anyway, you're in the harvest and you're telling people you're reaping. How can you reap from a harvest if you've never planted the seed? So, so much can be said about the book of Revelation and Daniel and Ezekiel. So much can be said. Yes, I'm with you. It can. So much. But uh, the seed has to be planted. You don't get a harvest before the seed. Now, I know it's fun, right? Sounds good, right, to pick up the book of Revelation and carnally read it and be like, yeah, the destruction of America. No, no, that's not. Sorry. Yes, it is because it says here and you're like, no, you're using your carnal head to try to make sense of what you're using and doing that. You're forgetting the legal system that God has put in place. And little by little, you're forgetting everything that you know that is true and your carnal mind wants out so it can make sense of Revelation. Well, guess what? That it will never, it will never happen, you know. So, but this week, guys, I don't know the day. We will put out a, a video. <clears throat> we're going to be talking about God's finger. Like I said, there's. We're going to put out a video. We'll send it. Uh, we'll put it out, and everybody will hopefully, uh, hopefully get it. I know last sometimes I think one or two videos. Um, I had some people say that they never like maybe. Or maybe it didn't come across their page, which is hard for me to believe. I thought, you know, if if you're following someone and they put out new content that, you know, and I will admit this, I just thought or maybe I just assumed that if someone is following you, that they would get that across their page or somehow, you know, I don't know if that's true or not. That's just me. No, they, to, guessing, they still have to ring the bell. They have to get all notifications. So if you have all notifications on and somebody that you have all notifications on puts out a new video then you'll get a little pop-up and say, such and such chart just put up a new video. So Okay, hold on. So, also, so on TikTok, Dre, you have to... Also with that... Go ahead, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. It's, it's okay, Chart. No, but also ahead. with that, Dre, you have to understand, too, if you're, if you're on your For You page versus your following page, because who you follow, you will see it uh, it's expeditiously. But if you're on your For You page... It, it, it will come up, but after you scroll through other people who you are not following. So it all depends on how you are searching and scrolling through TikTok. So that's why I was advising Trot that he needs to be more active in putting out more content himself. As the so make, yeah, I make sure also. Yeah, I remember uh, you saying that. I need to. I need to, uh, you done told me that about a handful of times, and man, I, I, I do need to start doing that. So I, I, I want to at least uh, uh, 
you know, admit that I, I've heard you say that a few times. I just can't. I'm there. I guess I'll just put it that way. What are you saying, Benny? I was gonna say, make sure you uh, go to your TikTok, your in your settings, in your notifications, go under the TikTok uh, deal for the banner, and make sure it's on. You know what I'm saying? On your phone, you can set different apps. You can put the banner on to where the, when it notifies you, it'll it'll be like a banner on your on your phone. Yeah, under the, so, under the phone. Guys, if y'all don't know that, pop up. yeah, they're trying to they're trying to tell everyone that's listening that uh, you need to go to your notifications and TikTok. You need to make sure find find that notification, and apparently there's an area where you can receive all notifications. And that so what's what is that going to do when when that means someone that you're following when they when they put out new content they'll get they'll receive a message pretty much right. It'd be just like a text message on your phone. How to yeah. text message hits your phone and the banner pops down and say message from so and so. It'll do just like that with TikTok. Somebody posted a video. It'd be like a text. Yeah. Message. Yeah. Let me see. My Anthony said some people spend more time on the app than they do with the Lord. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, 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 obviously this bothers uh, my cousin here because he says it every time he comes up on this live or I see him say it. Like every time he's up, he says that, uh, you know, the thing is everybody's got different lives, different lifestyles, you know, and, um, you know, honestly, you know, um, you know, you obviously have to spend some some one on one time uh, with with God, you know, obviously. But just because people are on the app a lot doesn't mean they don't spend time with the Lord. Now, I'm sure there are some people that do that. Um, but if you're on an app talking about God, you're spending time with the Lord. I mean, if you're talking about them, you're spending time with them. You know, should you have a one on one? Yeah, I believe you should. One hundred percent. But being on an app and uh, talking about God, using using technology to talk about God is actually a good thing. You know, it's not a it's not a bad thing. It's okay, and if uh, that's how people have to start off, you know, maybe for whatever reason they don't know anybody in their vicinity at the moment, you know, to talk about God. So if you want to hop on an app and and talk about the Lord, great. As long as it's edifying, that's the whole point. You know, that's why we don't do Jerry Springer and Royal Rumbles here. There's enough of that already. You can go find about a thousand pages. They'll argue with you all day. And to be honest with you, that ain't edifying at all. So I don't see the point of even doing that. So you got those people, they don't even go to church. They don't know anybody outside of, of their uh, TikTok world. And when they do get on TikTok, they're in an unedifying life talking about God. I mean, God, that, now all that's a waste of time to me. If you're going to take any time out of your day, I don't care if you're working and you got an earbud in, uh, then 100%, you know, uh, you need to be listening to something that's edifying. You know, it just wouldn't make any sense uh, to, to do it any other way. But <clears throat> uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, While well, he's on the app, hit the bell. Oh, yeah, Hulk said, make sure you hit the bell. So when you go to TikTok to receive all notifications... Uh, there's, there should be a bell. I think I do remember a bell. There's a bell there that's pretty much letting you know, um, to receive all notifications, which is, which is good. But, um, yeah, so y'all get ready. We're going to talk about got finger and, uh, keyword edifying. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, click your pick. Hulk, what do you he's mean talk, click your pick? He's talking about just click the pick, like Trot's pick right now, and click the bell, and you can have notification on none, uh, something else, or all. So right now people can click on your name while we're in the live and get all notifications. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that, that's, what they, that's what they mean. Yeah, so, yeah, well, okay, Hulk, well, thank you for that. Mac, expl explaining that. I, yeah. I keep forgetting you can click on picks in here, but... Go ahead. And start dropping a few little uh, 15, 20, 30 second clips. You know what I mean? Dropping some gems and just getting that presence on the FYP. Like the yeah, I need to. I need to do that more. Yeah, no, I need to do that more, man. I, I used to do it uh, 
uh, maybe not very often, but it was pretty, pretty often. I used to make, uh, uh, you know, don't forget your shovel videos. I need to make some more of those, but, uh, man, look at all them See, eggs. Hold on, bro. Time out. Day. You saw the street corner one? <laughs> that looked good, Ooh, dude. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, dude, it was. Dude, that corn was so good. Bro, look at those eggs. Dang, dude. I got plenty of eggs, you, I've been bro. thinking about... I got bro, I'm eggs telling you, I need to get bro, back... From yesterday. Yeah, no, I need to get I need to get back into getting some chicken. I love eggs, dude. I'm not kidding. I need oh, to yeah. do that. I need to get some chickens, man. I, uh, my neighbor was like, uh, I sent him, <laughs> hey, I was at a place where you buy dogs, and they had roosters in the very back of this place, and there was a a rooster, bro, that just would not be quiet. It was just like, grr, grr, grr. I mean, bro, I can hear a cro- like when I first got on that the, that acreage, I could hear it. And I was like, man, there is a rooster that just would not be quiet. So I get back there, and there's like five or six, you know, they don't got all of them in the same case. It looks like the but there's dividers. And each one of them looked like they got about, I don't know, like 15, 20 square feet, you know, to have like like their own individual cage. But it is a one huge cage. And it's the same rooster. I thought maybe, I thought maybe it was uh uh, you know, a different rooster. No, bro. I sat there and watched him for like 15 minutes. It was him the whole time. Anyway, so I took, I made a small video of, of that rooster that just wouldn't be quiet. And I sent it to my neighbor and I just, I, I, I put on there and I said, Hey, I said, man, I hope this guy don't bother you in the mornings. That's all I said, you know, in the text and bro, within five seconds, he goes, what, bro, you going to start selling chickens? I said, no, nah, man. I said, uh, you know, of course I'm, I'm, I'm fibbing. I said, no, nah, bro. I said, this guy asked, told me that he would pay me. I don't remember what I told him that he'd pay me $500 a month. If I raised his roosters on my property, he paid me 500 a month. I said, so, you know, I hope these things don't wake y'all up. And he's like, bro, please don't do that. <laughs> now he's, he's a couple of acres away, bro. But if you got about 20, uh, uh, roosters in the morning doing that, Bubba, you're going to hear it. You know? And I was like, no, nah, I'm just kidding. I just wanted to annoy you. No big deal. Uh, try, we just ordered 20 chickens. Yeah. What kind of chickens, Lisa? What kind of chickens, uh, did y'all order? Don't just say chickens now. Try, you done any hunting? It's an, uh, I haven't, I haven't went yet. I haven't went this year yet. Uh, my freezer is probably, it's probably maybe halfway full. So I've been tearing bubble. I have been tearing into it for the past (laughs) couple of weeks. So about time I go, which is probably another week or two or something like that, I don't know, I might have about a quarter left, and then we'll make sure we get two or three good ones and then fill that sucker right back up well, so I, I can have some of that sausage. Um, and... I, I got two, um, not this Saturday, but the Saturday before. Uh, an average size doe for here and then a, a small, real small, six-point, maybe a two-year-old deer. Um Mm. And I, I, this past weekend, I let a couple, you know, button bucks, little tiny spikes, and let them walk. But I was just curious if you if you had done any down there. No, not yet, not yet. Last year, I got, I think I got three. <clears throat> I got one, two, three. Yeah, I got three. Uh, uh, the the misses got two. But one of mine was small, so we both got two, and then the the one the small one that I got was you know barely it was a doe, but it was in my opinion it was at that line of should I shoot it or should I not? Um, but it was you know just me personally, bro. When I get out there, I take anything I can to make sure I get meat. As long oh, yeah. as I know that that thing's a decent size, I'm taking it. I don't give a crud. I'm taking it and then i'm working i'm working on her the the you know for the next couple hours getting it right and putting it in the freezer or whatnot but after that then you know i can i can wait to the last minute the last day you know and and then pick pick a good one if there if there even is one most of the time there is though i have buck fever man i wish i know but i wish you would have came to me uh months ago bro man my cousin man Bug fever bad. Well, so do you, Anthony, do you, you, uh, you process your own? Nah, heck no. Nah. I've done I, it a few times. Our processors here I, went up to a hundred dollars, 
a deer. Well, and yeah, it, but that's still not bad though. If yeah, but that's still not bad. If you look at it's still not bad though, bro. It's still cheaper than beef. No, it's not. It's and still, it's still cheaper can, than getting it from the grocery store. But it's just you know yeah. a couple of years so ago it, that was sixty bucks. Oh yeah, I know. So everything everything's gone up. But here's the thing though. <clears throat> here's the thing. Uh, you know you're getting real meat. Oh yeah. That's the thing. Non GMO. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so I, I sent it to the yeah, <laughs> but I sent it to the processor. I've done a few myself. I even used to, I used to uh, knock down like a, a sixty to eighty pound, or actually seventy to about a hundred, hundred and twenty pound hog. But I used to make pork. I would only, I would, t I would take all the meat, of course. I would grind it up, and I would, I had a person that would, would, uh, we would trade some stuff for it. But I uh, every year, hog? dude, I think I'm. Yeah, wild hog. As long as they're under, uh, I, I'm telling you, 120 don't taste very gamey. I know people like to stay around 80, um, but let's just say this. If they're around 100, bro, I, I take them out. If they're only 30 or 40 pounds, I just get them next year or next, you know, next week, you know, next month. But, bro, one year, I think I knocked down about maybe 50 or 60 hog. Bub, I filled my freezer up with pork chop. I, I pretty much processed all of them by myself i just i banned them you know and and uh i, love Bub, I had pork, pork chops too. for days yeah yeah well i took a lot of them i think i took seven or eight at one time uh but that was years ago bro i think all seven or eight of them haul each one of them weighed about 80 pounds and i ground Ooh. all all that meat dude and i think each one of them cost me like 40 bucks 40 dollars a piece it was That's cheap and no, it wasn't bad. I don't know how much it is now. I haven't done a well, hog 80, in, I don't 80 know how pound long, hog, but... you probably got a good uh, 35, what, 40 pounds of actual ground meat out of that? I, yeah, so probably 30-something like pound. pounds a piece, and it was <laughs> something. But I had I had uh, a seven or eight of them. So what's what's eight times eight times three is what, eight, 24? So 240 yep. pounds, something like that. <clears throat> 80, 90. Hundred no, nah, I'd be yeah. It's still, it was it was almost three hundred pounds probably. Uh, I know it filled up a, a couple of coolers and then I filled my freezer up with it. But, well, you know, uh, but you know, you walk into a into a store real quick and I shut up. You know, you walk into this like went like, real country all of a sudden. <laughs> well, you know, you walk into Easy. like a Dollar General or a Walmart and uh, you go to the front register and you got these coolers there, whether it's Coke or Pepsi, with the two sliding doors on the front and some smaller coolers. Yeah. I've seen dudes right. taking that here lately and uh, buying used ones from restaurants or whatever, and they're using those to age their deer meat, you know, where they stay in, within that range. So I said, oh, by, next, yeah. huh. by next year, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hopefully find one of those, refurbish it, and turn that into a meat locker in deer season. Yeah. Hey, bro, you, you, yeah, you, I mean, you, I always you, say you can, whatever. Uh, hey, you can hear the dip in, 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 in Mac's mouth right now. <laughs> yep. Go. <Gaw. Gaw. laughs> yeah. Um uh let me see before we hop on. Yeah, uh Jennifer said they processed their own. Jennifer, y'all still process it or is that something y'all used to do? We still do it. My sister just got one uh last week. Well, and it came just at the right time. Meat's getting expensive. I live over here by Long yeah. Oklahoma, and uh, well, we've been hurting for me, and so she went and got one last week, and she butchered it, processed it, and everything herself, hmm. and then brought me some meat. Yeah, but my dad. He, yeah, I'll tell you, man. It's my dad taught us. I've been hunting ever since I've been five years old, old enough to hold a pew pew. But that yeah. was one of the things yeah, my dad you. sure we knew how to provide. But yeah, yeah. right, absolutely. Yeah, no, that's cool. I uh, I did for a little bit, but it just for me personally, it just became too uh, time consuming. I just had too much going on. Like I used to, dude. I used to change my own oil. Well, I don't change my own oil anymore because that just takes too darn long. I could drive it up. And then 
it almost costs about the same to do it yourself now. See, back in the day, I could change my own oil exactly. and save half the money. And now, I, so, you know, now I go nah, through and buy nah, all the nah, stuff nah, I nah, need nah. and I save. Nah, nah. I draw the line right Listen, there. Listen, I saved $2. Here's the, here's the thing, though, bro. Take it to Walmart. When you go to Walmart, <laughs> bro, you, you ain't getting the best oil, bro. Like, if you want to get the best oil for your car for it to last a long time, you got to do it yourself. And then you save a lot of money. But if you're just well, putting regular, I, okay, well, you know, down here. Uh, Circle K oil in your car, then yeah, sure, go ahead, take it to Walmart. But if you actually want your car, to no, I don't take, no, oil, I don't take it, I don't take it to. Uh, now you can take it to Walmart, and let me just say this: they're I making just, engines better now, bro. They're making engines better now. Engines are getting worse. They're getting better depending on which brand you buy. You know, our our engines are running, bro. You can almost get you know, 500,000 to a million miles on just a regular vehicle. It don't matter if you, as long as you take, you take that sucker to Walmart, oil is oil. It's going to last a long time if you keep it yourself. But most people, bro, they keep cars five years now, maybe 10. That's it. Yeah, and I don't take them on the Walmart. I've done it. I've, I've made the mistake in taking it to Walmart, but I take it to, uh, down here. It's a place that it's, it's, it's a, it, it, it's just the, the place is only for changing oil. It does a few other things. Yeah. These guys be stripping, oil your, st they be stripping your, your oil pan and stuff, bro. Like they be tightening it up to <clears throat> Nah, bro. That, that's one thing I write there. I draw the line. Well, ag again, it, it takes no, again, years. again, I, I understand, I understand the arguments of, you know, you can do a better job yourself. I get all that. I'm just saying, I don't cut my own hair. Okay. I don't got time for, I don't change my own oil. Cause they, it takes them 10 minutes. I ain't lying. Some sometimes when I go, it takes them five yeah, minutes to change my oil. I mean, that's what I'm saying. One of them kind of places, yeah. So yeah, but it'll take oil, me. It'll take me. Oil, it'll take me. I promise you. I promise you. Oil well, oil, I, there's levels. This place this. has been. Well, bro, this place has been oil. here. This place. Yeah, bro. You can listen. This place has been here for a long time. They got a, a good reputation. So I I understand what you're saying that you just can't take your place to you know. Uh, take your vehicle to any place. This place has a reputation that, you know, they have a family name, bro. They've been doing this for a long time. Uh, so, it, you know, it, that does matter. You're not, I have never heard anybody complaining about these people. So it does matter who touches your car. I'm, I'm with you. But as long as you know who's touching your car, you're good. So Walmart, I understand it's quick because it can be. But Walmart, there's always a complaint about Walmart here always there's always something and so i'm i understand that. i'm just saying because of i know who's touching my car dude oil gets changed five to ten minutes and i'm telling you a lot of times it's like six minutes seven it's like it's so fast and it's and it's good work the guy's been changing my oil for years i don't cut my own hair it takes me 20 30 minutes to cut my own hair i go right down over here lady cut my hair in five minutes I got a haircut in five minutes. Got my oil change in five minutes. I go process the deer. It takes me three, four hours. I just drop it off someone. They call me when it's done. I don't care if it takes a week. It don't take away three, four hours out of my day. You know, I got firewood to sell. I got things to do. I got too many things to do. You just can't, you can't do everything, you know? And if you're one of them people that you want to be the one doing everything, that's fine. And if you're content doing that, if you're content doing everything, that's fine. But just remember you only got 24 hours in a day, and I like to read the Bible. That's just me personally. I like to read it. Like, I enjoy it. it. It's like a hobby to me. I love to read it. So if I can read the Bible for an hour or two a day because I didn't cut my own hair, change my own oil, and do all these other things, then fine. I'll just read the Bible then, you know? But I mean, yeah, you I should do try it. Yeah. But you, but well, you well, I, I, I meditate, I you meditate go, on the word while I'm changing the oil, though. See? Well, I was going to say, you need to go somewhere that oh, takes longer okay. to get a haircut and longer for an oil change. That way you can meditate longer. <laughs> what you reading right now, like, hey, Trap? how long y'all take? <laughs> uh, what you reading right now? Are you just bouncing we, around? What, what you been reading lately? Like, I've been in first set. I've been in first You're going to find out what I'm uh, reading in the next couple of days. Oh, okay, cool. What's yeah, up? I've been in first Samuel uh, 9, 10, and 11, 12, boy. It's, you know, that it's amazing, man. It's crazy. Yeah, you're in Samuel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah. Hey, Trot. Yeah. Hey, Trot, what kind hey. of truck you drive? Hey. Well, I don't drive it. I I don't drive a truck right now. I sold it. I sold my truck. So I'll be getting one. I don't know. I'll be getting one here pretty soon. 
I don't know what I'm going to get, to be honest with you. My next truck. You drive a Honda? Huh? You drive a Honda or what? A Honda? That ain't a truck. Yeah. Uh, no, we kind of... No, we kind of stay around a, a Chevy, Ford. Sometimes we get, like, Dodge pickups, but usually it's Chevy, Ford, or Dodge around you here. That's kind of no? that's kind of where. Uh, no, you know what? I think my next vehicle, um, I, I don't think I'm going to get diesel next vehicle, to be honest with you. So it is I think I'm just going to get regular. Right now, right? No, no, no. I sold, I sold the one that I had. I don't, I, don't have a, I don't have a truck right now. I sold it. Oh, so okay. I'll be getting one. Because I was going to say, if, you're doing, yeah. if you have a diesel, you got to change out that fuel filter every 15K, man. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. No, I, I understand that. I, I just, I don't have, uh, I don't have a pickup right now. You oh, know, okay. I sold it. The one that I had. I, I'll tell you what I'll do. If you don't do this, fine. Don't do it. But I'm going to tell you one thing that hey, I'm doing. If, I'm you ain't got a, if you don't have a pickup truck, then you're just a half cowboy right now. Yeah, <laughs> he's, a half, he's a half cowboy <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, well, um, yeah, no. So, uh, uh, I'm sorry, reading something. Yeah, I know. So I sold my pickup, and let me tell you, I'm telling you, I know there's people that frown upon this. Man, I I've loved it. I've done it a few times. I love it. I'll get okay, and I'll you know I try not to put whole lot of miles on it but it is what it is sometimes you have to but as soon as i start using equity in the truck and that could take three to five years where like you're you cannot get any money for the truck as soon as it gets to that point i sell it and then i go get me a new one i've done that a few times well, and it has been beneficial you might as well just lease, well, yeah. just lease well car, no man. hold on no no the reason the yeah. reason i don't want to lease the reason I don't want to lease is because there is a limit to how many miles you can put on it. They penalize the tarred out of you, bro. You are, boy, they get you. They get you. They penalize you hard time, man. You are penalized. I, 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 it's not a good thing. Jude said no lease. Yeah, I've, when I read into leasing and I understood what it, what it was, I was like, oh, no. So, uh, but I've done this uh, probably one, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four. This truck was my fourth time doing this, and it has been beneficial, bro. The vehicle never breaks down. I never, it never breaks down. It's only three to five years old. And then I go sell it, and with that money that I get, I use that whole thing for a down payment. I use the whole thing down payment on another vehicle, and I have equity. So the equity stays in the vehicle. You just have to keep up with how many miles are on there, how old it is, and you obviously got to take care of it. It can't be all dinged up and banged up, you know. Uh, hey, so, so it's this is it with, with, the, with you still making payments or what? Oh no, okay. So yeah, I'm still making payments. Let, okay, watch. Let's say I buy a twenty thousand. No, let's say I buy a like the last vehicle at forty four. So let's say I buy a. 40 let's make it 45 so i buy a forty five thousand dollar truck okay no actually the last one was 60. the one before that was 45. the last one was 60. let's just make it 60. let's say you buy a sixty thousand dollar vehicle and let's say you got uh 20 grand okay I, that's that's just what i have and so i want my payments to be in a certain area so i put that 20 grand on the vehicle i have equity in the truck there's equity in there Okay, because you lose equity in the truck really fast. You may yeah. not get all your equity back. Oh man, flag! I just got a flag for hate speech. I don't know why, but I just did. Who was it? <clears throat> but anyway, try. I don't know. He just for? said you. I I think it's because you used the last half of the R word when you said they they do that on you when you put so many miles on it. Oh. I don't know. Can I can I look at it again? I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure, but but if you have oh. another one, the the live needs to end, and then you need to um. You and probably then if, kill, if you, you end probably it just now, end the live now, bro. Just yes, live now. because right, let's just do that. Get, All right, guys. Hey, no in. worries. Hey. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Hey, we're gonna go ahead and end it. Hey, I'll Aaron see you guys in the morning, man. Ford. God bless. You said Ford, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. All right. We'll see y'all guys.